So, the government have managed to survive the Labour Party motion of no confidence. Wonderful. Here's all those who voted confidence, so you can take note of them, especially the independents. One person who also voted confidence was Green Party TD, Nasa Harrigan. Now, that might not be surprising. She is a member of the coalition, after all, a member of the current government. But those who watched my last video will know that Nasa Harrigan voted against the government on the lifting of the eviction ban and was not shy about criticising the move. She was very vocal in her disagreement on this issue and about her confusion as to the decision-making process in the Green Party itself. She questioned why the Green Party were going against their own policies in voting to lift the ban. This was the third time that Nasa Harrigan has voted against the government and this time she faced even more severe punishment from the Green Party for doing so. As a result of going against her party and coalition colleagues, she lost the party whip, lost the committee she was a member of and that nice bonus pay for said committees and has been suspended from the party for 15 months. Yet, she is happy to vote confidence in the government. I genuinely wonder why that is. How can you go from voting against the government that you are a part of and face repercussions which had been warned of in advance and then vote confidence in the very same government? It just doesn't make sense to me. Her stance over the eviction ban makes even less sense when you look at all the other votes she has gone along with. Most notably, the mother and baby home redress scheme that puts a minimum time limit on suffering. Yep, that's right, NASA Harrigan voted with the government to exclude 24,000 people from that redress scheme on the ridiculous basis that they spent less than six months in such a home. Now, she has said that there were votes where she felt she had to go along with the party, but why stay in a political party that is apparently selling out its morals? And her issues with her own party go back to before she helped negotiate the Greens' entry into government coalition with Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil. She was outspoken before formation saying that the Greens had nothing in common with either party and outspoken again after helping to negotiate the government formation. It all seems a bit all over the place, doesn't it? Why stay in a party that seems to have abandoned the policies and beliefs that led you to them in the first place? Why continue to support a government that does not truly align with the Green Party policy? Well, I can think of 107,376 reasons why she might vote confidence in the government, or, as I like to call it, the Green Greed. If she was truly principled, she would have left the Green Party, which by her own admission does not reflect its own policies. A hard choice, but sometimes doing what's right is not the easy thing to do. She's not the only one with the green greed though. If she is to be believed and the party has strayed so far from its own policies, then every single member of the Green Party is just as bad. This current incarnation of the Green Party rode the green wave that the world was seeing and yet they have, in my view at least, failed to do anything of real substance other than piss off the less well-off in our society. More taxes than you can shake a stick at, heaping more misery on those already suffering at the hands of the unchecked cost of living crisis. Incentives that only the rich and wealthy can even consider availing of, and punishments in the form of more taxes for those unfortunate enough to be poor. There are far better ways of getting the public on board the eco-saving brigade, but they know that, and they don't care. They are so preoccupied by their own short-sighted goals that they are happy to ignore everyone else and everything else in pursuit of their perfect green ideology. The Green Party do not have a monopoly on environmental issues despite what they may say. In fact, they are so blinkered by their own goals that they don't care about the consequences, intended or otherwise. But it's abundantly clear after the past week or so of political shithousery from the government that the Green Party sold their morals and dignity a long time ago for their 30 pieces of silver. When needed and on cue, they have collectively put their fingers in their ears and closed their eyes while scandal after scandal has rocked this government. They have stood idly by while lies are told to the doll and to the electorate, all to further their own myopic agenda. Eamon Ryan and his band of green goons have learned nothing from what happened last time they were in government. The vote on the eviction ban and the motion of no confidence were the place for the Green Party to stand up and be counted, to stand up and perhaps earn a reprieve from a pissed off electorate. But no, they voted to keep their noses in the trough for as long as this coalition can cling on to power. 
green greed indeed. Thanks for joining me today and you know what to do by now. Like, share, subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of new content. Follow me on Twitter for real-time thoughts and reactions to the news of the day. Until next time, slong a foe.